Hello everyone, we will continue the topic about object-oriented programming and as a part of that, we are covering the event-based functionality in object-oriented ANP. And we finished with double-click functionality. Now I will come on to suppose hotspot functionality also. You all know hotspot I covered in traditional ALV also. What is hotspot? There will be some sort of hyperlink which will take us to the requirement means whatever is requested by the customer. During traditional ALV, we already covered hotspot. If I will show you that traditional ALV program, you can see at that time what we did. We have a, this is the hotspot. And whenever user will click on to this hotspot, we did a requirement that it will take us to VA03 transaction code. So this is the way how hotspot will look like. Now, same thing we need to do in our ABAP object-oriented programming means whenever we have a ALV by object-oriented programming, how we can go for hotspot functionality. Suppose I'm running this particular program. Now what customer is saying, suppose what customer is saying, previously we achieved the functionality on double click. Now what customer is saying, okay, I will not go for double click I want a hyperlink or hotspot. Whenever I will click on to that hotspot, then the corresponding item data should display. Now, if I will click on to the hotspot of 78, it should display the details of sales order number 78. Now we will achieve this particular thing. Firstly, we will convert this particular column as a form of hot spot. So you all know we need to set the property into the field catalog during traditional ALV. Also, we did the same to same thing. We put hot spot is equal to capital X. There was a property. So firstly, we will check here. Is the name of the property is hotspot or something else? Because here we have a different table type. So firstly, we will go to field catalog. This is our field catalog internal table. It is of this particular table type. I will double click. This table type has this structure type. We'll go for control F and we will see. Is there any property of hotspot? Yes, hotspot is there. So I will use this particular property. Now I will simply, simply go to field catalog. We want the VBELN to appear in the form of hotspot. So I will do control D and I will simply, simply change it to hotspot and what the value we need to pass capital X. And you can see now I will put the hotspot property to true for sales document number. I will go for activate. Now I will simply execute and now I will give the input and you have the expected output. Just see. Now, whenever user will click on to this hotspot, we want to display the item data. We want to display the corresponding item data. You all know, when we did double click, the event name was double underscore click. Now we are going for hotspot. So now we need to check is there any event like hotspot underscore click in GUL, AEG, in CL, GUI, ALV grid class? 
because this is whole event based functionality. So you need to check the corresponding event. So now I will go to the class CLGUI ALV grid class. Previously, you used the event double underscore click. Now we will see. Is there any event with hotspot? If I will scroll down, I will just find. That is the best way. Hotspot. And you can see we have a event hotspot underscore click. It is clearly saying hotspot was selected. So rather than double underscore click, I will use the event hotspot underscore click. Process is same to same. You are going for a event handler method. Previously, you used double click. Now you have hotspot underscore click. Suppose rather than double click, I will use hotspot underscore click. So this event handler method, this event handler method is for hotspot underscore click. So whenever we will click on to that hotspot, yes, which event will trigger hotspot underscore click will trigger. Whenever event will trigger, who will handle? Event handler method will handle. And what is the event handler method? This is our event handler method and the logic will execute. I will check. Is there any need to change the logic or not? So now we already registered this event also. So there's no change required here also. We already registered this event handler method. We will see. Is there any need for the code changes of event handler method? We'll see that part. So I will put a breakpoint. If we are getting the right index of the row, then there is no need to change the logic. I will put a breakpoint and we will go for execute. I will give the input. I will go to execute. Now you can see double click functionality is not working now because we replaced double click by hotspot. Now whenever I will click here, hotspot event will trigger, hotspot underscore click. And whenever event will trigger, who will handle event handler method? I will click here. And yes, it is triggering. Our event handler method is triggering. We clicked on to first row. We will check. If we are getting the right index, then there's no need to change the logic. I'm executing this method. Yes. We have right index. There's no need to change the logic at all. We are passing the index. Now from this internal table, this it is in this internal table, we are reading based upon that index. Whenever we will read based upon that index, what is index one? So whenever we will read, we will get 77. And you can see from the internal table, we are reading this internal table based upon index one because you selected, you clicked on to hotspot of which particular row, first row only. So we are passing it to VBAK work area. Yes, we have 77. We are fetching data from VBAP table based upon sales order number 77. Perfectly fine. Suppose I will click here. Now we are clicking on to second row. I will check. Are we getting the right row? Yes, we are getting the right row. We are getting the index. And you can see we got the index too. We got the index too. We are reading this internal table on index two. So we will get what 78. So we will simply fetch the data from VBAP table based upon sales document number 78. Now you can see 78 and we are fetching data and we are finding the data. So we have the expected output.
output. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered the second event-based functionality that is hotspot clip. Hotspot means customer wants some sort of hyperlink. Previously, we achieved the functionality through double click. Same to same functionality we achieved through hotspot click. So firstly, we checked, is there any property for hotspot? Yes, we are able to find the property. We put it to capital X. And this column is appearing in the form of hotspot. Whenever I will click onto this hotspot, now this is event based. So we need to check which event is applicable. So I checked in CLGY ALV grid class, the name of the event is hotspot underscore click. So we created an event handler method. This event handler method is for hotspot underscore click. Previously it was for double click. And this is the logic. We already have written the logic for double click. Same logic is applicable here also because we got the right index of the row on hotspot click also. There is no need to change the logic. If you have some different functionality, yes, then you need to write the logic, the perfect logic at that point of time, but is required by the customer. So this is all about the hotspot functionality in case of object-oriented ALV. And yes, that is a event-based functionality. So that's it in this video. Thank you.